And Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachel Kodash. Laban is our venerable apostles and all this a great millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so brother Haran coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, you know, I was just uh, meditating, all right, in the spirit. And today is, I believe, uh, is that December 12th, all right, December 12th, <laughs> um, 2022, all right, the year where Yahweh Bashim Shai turns up. And, you know, we, we got what, about, what is it, two and a half, all right, two and a half uh, weeks left, all right, for this uh, so called calendar year to be pretty much over. All right, and you know, another one month down as we inch closer and closer to the downfall, complete downfall of Babylon the Great because she's already in the process of, of the downfall, okay? And you know, just thinking, all right, looking at, looking at, looking at all these other countries, all right, they, they see America's going down, all right? They start to see, all right, the shame of Babylon the Great, you know, on, on, on every aspect. All right. When you when you talk about uh, fraud, all right, uh, America's shame, all right, is 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 um is 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 exposed. America is exposed, and she's 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 uh she's been looked at as as a, as a shameful woman. Okay, uh, Isaiah forty seven tells you that. All right, that the Lord is what he's uh he's um making her naked. All right, meaning what that the prophets all right, are going to bring out the truth. All right, on every aspect. And destroy the society that is built on lies, man. Okay, and and these other nations, these other countries are seeing it, man. These other people that are not necessarily in the land of Babylon, all right, they're seeing it. That's why you've had a mass exodus, all right, of a lot of um people from different nations, all right, who came over here to 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 build up some form of uh, business or what what not, all right. They're all you know leaving the country, all right. Pretty much uh, last year. All right, uh, the year before that, and even years prior to that, uh, prior to the so-called demic, you had a lot of uh, businesses leaving, a lot of people leaving, going back to their countries. Okay, some are uh, going over to Africa. All right, like the the so-called uh, Chinese people, man, the Moabites. All right, you see, you start to see a lot of countries shifting their direction from using the dollar. All right, to uh, um, various different. Um, uh, currencies, man. One currency that comes to mind is the ruble. All right, by by the Russians, man. Okay, so you have a huge economic war. All right, uh, going on, which ultimately will affect the the, the everyday uh, uh, so-called American, man. All right, man. It's, it's judgment. Every, damn, both sides. Wow, look at that. Whole accident, man. Fresh. Look at that. Hey, judgment, man. Most high. Hey, he brings forth judgment. Judgment every day, man. Okay, but anyway, so um, these these people, these other nations, these uh, people from different countries are, are fleeing back to their land because they can see America going down. But 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 people over here, they don't see it. All right, they don't see it because the Lord. All right, that's why you have majority of the prophets in this land because this is the land of darkness, man. Okay, it's so dark that people can't see. All right, and 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 you have the prophets that you're supposed to hear and see. But guess what? The Lord has blinded them so they can't see. The Lord has covered their ears so they can't hear. All right. He's made their 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 uh, hearts fat. Look at this. Man, what is going on? <laughs> you know? But the most high Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai is 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 setting this place up for a downfall, man. All right. Send this place up for a huge, huge downfall, man. Every all the signs are pointing to that. It's all being done by design. But ultimately, who's the one who's putting the spirit on these devils to come up with this? a uh, uh, wicked de uh, device wicked plan okay and and this is all being done so that esau edom can fulfill all right uh, uh, uh his lot as being the wicked all right the one who who will be exterminated by yahweh bashim yahweh shah okay and he, he, they, they will have no way out because everyone hey, isaiah 14 tells you that all right that all eyes shall see him all right they shall they shall look look uh narrowly upon upon thee all right, and say, is this the man that weaken uh, weaken uh, uh, the nations? Okay. So Esau has a a, a, a big big uh, payment. All right, a punishment that he can't he can't bear. All right, so he's trying to avoid 
all right, that judgment by deceiving people into thinking that he's not who, who we say he is, all right? As the Edomites, they're trying to hide from that, from that, uh, from their identity because of the, the, the judgments that will befall them as a, as a race, as a people, as a nation. Okay, that the Most High hates that 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 race, that that particular uh, group of people, and and we see why the world is, is starting to see why the Most High says it verbatim that Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. Okay, the whole world is 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 being exposed to your true nature. And, and, and that's why you're trying to fight it and calling it what hate you're calling it uh, uh, uh anti-semiticism you're calling it uh uh which will uh, um, conspiracy theories and so on and so forth man meanwhile you're, you're doing the exact same thing that we say that you do you're, you're doing it out in the in the open here it is uh, uh lately I, I saw um there was this article if i could find it i might do a, a, a separate lesson on it going into their so-called depopulation agenda again you know, they, they're trying to normalize, all right, uh, uh, um, suicide and so on and so forth. It's a sick, sick world. It's called the, the, the human extinction extinction movement. That's the new thing Esau's coming up with, trying to deceive the world once again, that, hey, you know what? It's, it's, the world is, is, is a better place if, if you all just die off, you know? You know why not, right? You know? That's the devil for you. All right? Esau, eat him. Okay? But I'm going to see if I can get a quick precept. All right, it's the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 2. It says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. Okay? And what is that darkness? That darkness is, that, is, the, is the power that deceive, all right, the whole entire earth, man. The powers that be, the so-called Illuminati. The so-called uh, 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 deep state. <laughs> all right? The ones that are behind the curtains that you can't see so-called but now hey listen the whole world is seeing you all right because you could do nothing but reveal yourself for who you are all right so what's that psalms uh 64 and 8 all right it says what the gro and gross darkness the people but the lord yahweh shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee okay so the whole earth right ultimately life in wickedness which is darkness all right because this truth is the light all right so being that this this earth is ruled by the the, the, the powers of darkness esau edom okay scriptures tell you that the uh whose energy all right or whose spirit who's who's coming all right is uh of of uh of satan second thessalonians tells you that okay he's coming in the spirit of uh of satan man all right that's esau edom that is why their agenda is to what is to is to ultimately uh, 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 deceive the world, all right, into uh, accepting uh, a depopulation agenda and ultimately receiving that MOTB, knowing what the prophecy says about what will happen to those who take that MOTB, man. All right, Revelation fourteen, all right, tells you what 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 will befall the kind of judgment that will befall those who take that MOTB. All right. But yet this devil is telling you, all right, he's creating a whole new uh, te uh, technology that will, if you, you know, if you partake in this technology, you be basically you be um, made immortal, man. That's what they. That's pretty much what they're pushing, immortality. You know, so-called miracles, man. All right, because once again they're trying to escape their judgment. They can't. <laughs> you know this all this whole thing. All right, that birthright. Okay. Inheritance of the earth, ruling, rulership for eternity, that's what they want. That's the birthright. The birthright that came to us, the Israelites, all right, is what? Uh, ruling the earth for, for eternity. Okay? But these devils want to, you know, uh, 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 take that birthright back, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? You're the wicked, all right, and we are the righteous. They were set up this way. Okay? And that is why. You have ruled for so long, all right. Just like the scripture says that, uh, um, uh, you know, the, the the there were two nations in, in in thy womb, all right. Speaking of Rebecca regarding those two boys, all right, Jacob and Esau, all right. They're two different nations, two different manner of people, okay. And the younger will be stronger than the older one. That's why in everything we do, we're greater. We're the greatest. We're the greatest people on the earth. In everything we do, man. Okay, it's undeniable. Esau can't come on, bro. Look, look, look. When you when you got 
You got a guy like Dwight Howard, bro. For those who are into sports or you watch basketball, whatever, everybody who knows Dwight Howard, this guy was playing in the NBA over the past, I'll say, shit, I don't know, past five, ten years. He hasn't been like he used to be. You know, he got injuries and so on and so forth. So playing on the NBA or playing in the NBA against all these other athletes, you got younger players coming in. Jake is on some different shit nowadays, you know? So he's not, he wasn't what he used to be. So he wasn't, you know, no team was signing him, whatever. This guy goes out there to, was it, I think, Taiwan, if I'm not mistaken. And, I mean, this guy is being treated like a like a god over there. You know, he's just killing it. Like, he, I mean, this man is dominating everyone over there. He's cooking them. Straight cook. And I'm like, look at this. Jake just, when, when, you, when we enter into these other nations, man, they worship Jake over there. You know? Everything is just like, oh my goodness, like, oh, one of them are here. Oh, wow. Like, they be OD going crazy, man. <laughs> you know, that's why you got a lot of Jake uh, men who are fleeing, going overseas, looking for women overseas, man. Because the system here is so corrupt, everything is so upside down, it's become so toxic that they call righteousness toxic. They call order toxic. You see? They call discipline toxic and hate. This world is so bugged out. These people are so confused. You know? And that's why the Lord, hey, Yahushua is going to come back just like Thanos. He's going to come back and crush this stupid little world, man. All right? Just like that. Just break, just destroy it. And restart all this thing all over again, man. Because this place is a mess. All right? But anyway, the Lord is what? He's, 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 um, he's covered this place with darkness. And he's using this light, this truth, all right, to uncover it. To reveal right like it says in the book of revelation okay so hey man um let me see there's another precept i want to get out all right uh let me see some real quick all right so we got um so like yeah, i'm driving so i'm trying to be i'm trying to multitask but let me just roll through the spirit until i get a spot where i could pull a precept all right so going back to the point I was making, and um, if, if, if I, I'm sure, you know, brothers and sisters, I've seen this video, all right, um, or this article that brothers did a video on, or uh, countless videos on, regarding um, the so-called next catastrophe, all right? And um, basically, you know, the, the World Economic Forum and all these, um, these so-called elites, they're planning for the next uh, phase in this so-called global takeover, all right? And... Um, we believe through the spirit. Well, I believe through the spirit that this is going to be that that last push for the MOTB, based on biblical prophecies of end times. All right, we're seeing a lot of things like uh, uh, protests, uproars of the people. There's been a lot of earthquakes. All right, we in this we in a state of, of of famine. All right, unrest. Okay, all types of end time prophecies. I mean pestilence. I mean damn. You know what I mean? We've been having all these uh, signs of heaven. There's been a lot of things that's been happening, but the major, the last major prophecy that we all, all right, have been have been talking about is the uh, ushering in of that mark of the beast. All right, that's that last major prophecy, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna be uh, uh, um, these devils are gonna come in, you know, with, with with great wrath, man, in order to to try to fulfill that prophecy. Okay, so we that's what we're waiting for, and we we've been saying it, starting from my elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down. That America will be, it'll be a wasteland. All right, it'll be a wasteland, man. That's what the scriptures say. All right, it'll be a wasteland up here, man. So it's gonna be death. All right, and straight up destruction. All right, pain, suffering. All right, the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay. So hey, man, you know, we gotta keep praying. All right, keep praying, man, because hey, the times are, the times are definitely gonna be very, very evil. All right, the days are going to be very evil, but hey, through the spirit of Yah, Bashim Yah Shai, there's a remnant that's going to be delivered. All right, Lord willing, we are part of that number. Okay, we have faith that Yah Bashim Yah Shai will keep us, like He said in our Revelation uh, 3 and 10. Okay, so we have faith in that, and that will be our deliverance. That's our treasure. All right, that's our faith. All right, in salvation. Okay, so I'm going to leave it off there, Lord willing, be edified. I want to give all praises on that glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Nacha Kadash. Dawadi, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.